I was in I was in Mexico and I'm making a western. And I bought that white Stetson hat that I wore. <coughs> I bought that freaking hat in Mexico and I we started going through the read throughs for Kill Bill. And um, I just was wearing the hat because it was my hat. <laughs> All right, and I had long hair. And after the first read through, he comes up behind me and he goes, Michael, you're not going to wear that hat in the movie. And I, I said, well, I wasn't planning on doing that, but as a matter of fact, now that you bring it up, it's kind of cool. I think I will wear the damn thing. <laughs> and he said, no, you're not going to wear the hat. I said, okay. And he said, you're going to get a haircut too. And I said, well, I kind of like my hair long. And he goes, no, no, you're not going to do that. I said, well, okay. And then about three days later, he walks up and he goes, hey, Michael, you know what? I was getting my props. And he goes, it was in Culver City. And he goes, uh, you know, I can't picture you now without that. <laughs> <laughs> so you can wear a hat. And you can, don't have to cut your hair right now. Because I, I picture you like that now. And so I thought, okay, this is great, right? And so we go and shoot a bunch of stuff with me and the freaking hat. And then he comes to my trailer when we're out in, in Bakersfield, or Barstow. And he comes out, he's, you know, I'm like, what, what? And I open the door, it's him. He goes, hey, listen, I just wrote this scene, and uh, this is what we're going to shoot today. And he hands it to me and closes the door. And I go, wow, what the hell is this, right? And I sit down and I read it, and it's Larry Bishop telling me to take off the hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I had to do it because it was in the script. Because I really didn't want to take off the hat. Me and Michael Batson, I didn't want to take off the hat. And he turned it into a butt thing, see? He psychologically used me to play the moment. Because when I take it off, I didn't want to take it off. <laughs> and and it, it becomes a real a moment of reality for Bud, the character of Bud, which gave me a pathos as a person. Because when, oh man, he doesn't want to take off his hat. You know what I mean? It was a strange, strange thing. But I think that's what, you know, as you were saying. He was nicer to Robert Forster. Yeah, no, no. He, he, he reads people and then he does something that affects them reality and personal. And it plays it into a character.